On day one of any cybersecurity lesson, course, or book, it's going to start with the CIA triad. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability are the core security objectives for any data or system to be properly protected. Literally, any control you choose to implement will be designed in support of and to ensure one of or more of these three security objectives always. In this video, I'll actually be explaining how these three objectives can be achieved and showing you one piece of technology that can help you, your business, or your clients address all three of them at the same time for their most critical data assets. What's up everybody, I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber here with a product review and use case video on the Kingston Iron Key Vault Privacy 80ES and the Vault Privacy 50. Now to get the disclaimers up front, Kingston is sponsoring this video and that's fine. I told them I would only agree to make a video if I liked and used their product and that the opinions in the video were that of my own. Well, they sent me two of these devices a few months back and I've been using them and I like them. So I agreed to make the video. Now let's get into exactly how these devices can help protect your business or your personal data assets. I'm an InfoSec professional, a content creator, a consulting business owner, and a professor. Yeah. It's a lot. I took these Iron Key vaults and used them as a content creator and a business owner. I sign non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, all the time, and I have to adhere to them with access to technology and content that hasn't been released yet. And my own personal business has contracts, waivers, legal documents, and many more documents and file types that need to be secured properly. And as far as me using this tech goes, I gotta tell you, setup of the Vault Privacy 80ES was painless and easy. The display was pretty straightforward to work with. I just plugged in, I set up the passcode, and was off and running. The confidentiality, integrity, and availability of my data was at a level of protection that exceeded my expectations. And the read-write times of roughly 250 megabyte per second was more than fast enough for my needs. So this was my basic needs, but let's peel the onion back a little and dig into the CIA a bit though, and understand why we care and why we're seeking these. So regarding security objectives, how can a technology help address all three? And what exactly do the three mean, right? So let me break it down for you. The first one, confidentiality. This simply means that only people authorized to access data or a system are able to. When you speak to a doctor, you have the expectation of confidentiality that she won't tell anyone what you're sharing with them unless it's in direct support of your health. Privacy and confidentiality are often intertwined that way. A different example to make a point of it is battle orders, right? During war, you only want your soldiers or troops to know what the mission is and what the key objectives are. And you definitely don't want the enemy know where you're going to be going. The second objective is integrity. And integrity is ensuring the data have been tampered or altered in any way. Criminals are notorious for changing bank account numbers on invoices or changing crypto wallet addresses mid copy paste to make you send your money to them. Seriously, this was just seen with a sophisticated Chrome extension malware that overwrites crypto wallet addresses while you're pasting them in. People lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. It was pretty gross. Going back to our healthcare and military example that we did in confidentiality, compromising the integrity of your prescription and changing the dosage from five milligrams to 500 milligrams of a drug could be lethal even though it's just two extra zeros right and for our military orders oh my goodness changing the destination of where the troops are being deployed could absolutely be catastrophic availability is our third objective and this one means having the data when we need it it's as basic as it sounds Ransomware and denial of service attacks are both malicious attacks designed at compromising availability. Okay, so now we understand these three core objectives. How can these privacy vaults help us out? Well, both offer hardware-based encryption, specifically FIPS 140-TAC2 Level 3 compliance with AES XTS 256-bit encryption. I know that's an absolute mouthful, but if you're going to use this in federal government and be FISMA compliant, that FIPS 140-TAC2 Level 3 compliance is absolutely going to be required. And AES 256-bit, th this is currently unbreakable with today's computers. You'd need quantum computers to even get into, you know, cracking this stuff. So this means that any data on the device is secured from unauthorized access, i.e. confidentiality is intact, right? If you were to lose it or the device was stolen, the threat actor could attempt to access the data on it, but without the proper key code, 
it wouldn't unlock. Additionally, there is brute force attack protection that locks the device out after 10 invalid attempts, and it can be configured to wipe the drive completely after several unsuccessful access attempts if you choose to go that route. Now, for integrity, we kind of get this one for free. Because the confidentiality is intact, the data cannot be accessed to be modified or manipulated. There are read-only modes that can be configured if your use case calls for it, but since I'm a one-man band, I didn't enable that feature. Finally, our dear friend, availability. This one manifests in a few ways. Because the data is local to me, I'm not impacted by server downtimes, internet outages, denial of service attacks, or working from a space with no internet. The Iron Key vaults can be popped into the computer like any other USB device with just a few clicks and inputs of a password, you're up and running. Now, not everybody's a content creator or a one-man band, so what are some practical use cases and who might benefit from a technology like this? There are many, many different use cases. I'll just pick a few. Now, I worked in healthcare for seven years. In the United States, every aspect of a patient encounter has to be captured and documented. While dealing with the U.S. healthcare-based system of incentivizing physicians to see as many patients as possible in a workday. They don't have time to document. Because of this, physicians are notorious for bringing work home with them, especially documentation. There are many privacy laws to be considered. For example, the US has HIPAA and the European Union has GDPR. Loosely handling patient information could result in significant financial penalties if the data was lost or stolen, even if it wasn't intentionally the subject of the issue. Like for example, if a car was stolen and the backseat was full of patient data, it's still a reportable breach. It doesn't matter that the criminal just wanted the car. Because these two portable storage devices are hardware encrypted, you could confidently enable physicians to travel with their sensitive patients data while mitigating down the risk of compromise. In fact, if the devices were lost or stolen, you could successfully argue that no breach had occurred by pointing to the implementation of these devices in your environment and showing the AES XTS 256 bit encryption of the data was in place. The physicians I know don't like extra steps or clicks of the mouse. Trust me, if you've worked in healthcare, you're nodding your head right now. Trust me, I know. I found using these devices though to be hardly an inconvenience, being as easy as plug, password, and play. Very simple, straightforward. Plus, there's an added benefit of availability here. Having local access to the data makes it viable to access whether you're in flight, in the backseat of an Uber, or going off the grid and needing to button up some last minute business. Another potential use case that comes to mind immediately is enabling attorneys to protect client data. There is attorney client privilege to consider, as well as the reputation of the law firm's professionalism. It's completely conceivable an acquisitions happening and the value of a certain business component would be incredibly valuable in negotiation or a law office as clients admission and personal stories would have high value for the media running a front page news story that day. This is in fantasy. In May of 2020, the ransomware threat actor group R Evil publicly announced that they had successfully broken in and stolen all of the data assets of a major New York City based law firm to include ongoing litigation and cases with well known clients such as Elton John, Facebook, and Lady Gaga. Leveraging a hardware encrypted solid state drive like the Vault Privacy 80 ES could enable a law firm to securely store client data. Practically speaking, I could envision closed cases being archived off to the 80 ES and scrubbed from the file servers, then reconstituted if needed. This would have reduced the risk exposure for the law firm in this situation. Furthermore, I could see for particularly sensitive cases or clients operating exclusively off the solid state drive to ensure absolute control over access of the data. A final use case that comes to mind is the sensitive financials a CPA handles or certified public accountant. A 2018 survey found that literally 99% of CPA firms in the United States have less than 20 people working in them, and most of them are one-person businesses. CPAs are important and are immersed in work during the tax season. They are, however, not IT or InfoSec professionals. Many wing it or outsource their IT needs to a managed service provider. It's not uncommon for them to work out of email, leverage cloud drives, and store files locally on their desktop. For all of the same reasons of our doctor and lawyer friends, a CPA could ensure confidentiality, integrity, and availability of their client, tax, and financial information by saving it and working off of the Vault Privacy 50 or 80 ES. The 50 I have 
is only 128 gigabyte, but that's still plenty enough for PDFs and Word documents and stuff like that. But CPA users may want to consider a larger one if there's a substantial amount of large files like images, aka scanned documents. Now, you may ask yourself, why don't I just use a cloud drive, Jerry? My data is secure up there, isn't it? Well, is it? Listen, I, I store tons of stuff on my cloud-based drives personally, but not all of my data. You won't find my tax filings, my government-issued documentation, my personal financials, that type of information on cloud drives. It's not rare for cloud drives to experience a security compromise. In 2019, an insider at a major cloud provider abused her internal access to identify misconfigured firewalls and then access data repositories of over 100 businesses and then exfiltrated all the data. This included the data of 100 million customers of a major financial institution, including the leak of 120,000 social security numbers and 77,000 bank accounts numbers. That institution ended up paying $190 million to settle a class action lawsuit and $80 million in regulatory fines. So even if you do all the things right, technical misconfigurations and insider threats can get to your data and blow up your security objectives. So here's the deal. I've been using these two devices for close to two months now, and they haven't added any friction to my workflows and have increased my overall security posture regarding the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of my business and content creation data assets. I appreciate the opportunity to review these products and collaborate with Kingston on this video and the complimentary LinkedIn post I made about my experience. If these devices can help your business protect itself from itself, and minimize the introduction of friction that many controls typically introduce, give these devices a look. I'll put the links in the description below to Kingston's site where you can get more information on these two devices or just search on the internet for Kingston Iron Key. That's a wrap, everybody. If you got value from the video, be sure to check out one of the other 500 plus videos on the channel, helping cybersecurity professionals level up their game and helping them secure their businesses' information.